Hurricanes hosting the Predators, and the Predators are plus 185 for the money line. The Hurricanes are minus 225. The over-under is six goals. The Predators getting a goal and a half are minus 140, while the Hurricanes laying a goal and a half are plus 118. The Predators won the last game that they played. The Hurricanes lost the last game that they played. Now, head-to-head, -head, Carolina is on a four-game winning streak against Nashville. Carolina is 6-4 and four against Nashville in their last 10 meetings. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line, while the underdog getting a goal and a half is 7-3 and three in their last 10. There have been five one-goal games in their last 10 meetings, including 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 out of their last 5 meetings. The over-under is 5-5 five and five in their last 10. The over-under at 6 is also 5-5, five and five, and the home team is 8-2 and two in their last 10 meetings. The Predators are 16 and 20 against the spread. The under is 19 and 16 in the games in which they played, and they are 7, 8, and 3 on the road. The Hurricanes are 16 and 22 against the spread. The under is 22 and 15 in the games in which they played, and so both of these teams trend under, and they are 12, 3, and 1 at home this year. The last game they played, Carolina won 5 to 3. The game before that, they won 3 to 2 on the road. The game before that, they won 4 to 3 in overtime. The game before that, they won 3 to 2 in overtime. The game before that, the Predators won 4 to 3 in overtime. The game before that, the Predators won 5 to 4 in overtime. I understand that there's a lot of injuries here for the Hurricanes, but I think they bounce back after losing and snapping their very long winning streak. I'm going to take uh, Carolina with the money line. I'm going to take Carolina laying the goals, and I'm going to go over in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.